Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Steph. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Y'all are all in the Christmas spirit. I know I am, we're getting there. We still haven't put up our tree as of the day I'm filming this video, which is December 6th. We still have to get go get our tree, but hopefully tomorrow or the next day. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. What this video is about is my Christmas wish list. So I'm dressed super festive for the video. I have on my red sweater and then I've got on my bulb earrings and then I've got on this bright red lipstick. Um, but anyway, so I have all the festive things on and I wanted to bring you guys my Christmas wish list. So I know we're all grown here, mainly working adults. And when we want something, we could just go buy something for the most part. Um, that's how it is, but I still like to do a wish list or I get asked what's my wish list or what do I want for my husband every single year. So I've got one ready this year. First thing that I want on my wish list, and this isn't stuff I expect to have on Christmas day. Let me give that disclaimer. It isn't that serious. No, it's not even about that. I know the true reason for the season is Jesus Christ's birth and celebrating that. So let me give that disclaimer out and um, so everyone knows I'm not here to just listen to all the things I want for Christmas, but I like to see Christmas wish list videos and, and here's mine. First thing, and it's actually the only hair related thing that I have on my Christmas wish list, and that's a hair steamer. Okay, I have one of the handheld hair steamers from Cure Do, which is okay, um, but it's not as just effective as the ones that you sit under. I want one that you sit under, like one of those that you sit under. Yeah, I want one of those kind of steamers. Um, steamers are super beneficial when you get ready to deep condition your hair or apply different types of masks and I just want to be able to sit under there and just have my spa hair day and just <sighs> just have all the steam just flowing through my strands and around my head and just chill. So that's the first thing on my wish list. Next thing on my wish list is, okay, I go through purses pretty well. I get a purse and I use that purse. I use that purse. I do not usually change out my purses unless I'm going to a function where I need maybe a smaller crossbody or going shopping and I would prefer a small cross crossbody. I'm not really going to functions anymore. I mean, it's a pandemic. So if you out in these streets, just remember it's a pandemic still going on and just be mindful and be very, very careful. So anyway, I'm not really going anywhere, but my basic going to bed, going to work purse every single day or going to the store every single day, like they get, they, they go through it because I wear them every single day. So I put great use to my purses, but I'm kind of in the need of a newer black purse. So yeah. I need, I need a new black purse. And the main places that I have my handbags from are either Michael Kors, Dooney & Burke, or Coach. Those are the three places. So it doesn't even matter. It just needs to be able to fit my things properly, fit rest well on my shoulder, and just look cute. Simple, right? <laughs> the next thing that I need is a new work bag. And my husband purchased me a work bag this summer. I got a new job and, um, he wanted me to start my new job career off right with a wonderful bag and he did give me a work bag but it was more i'm trying to think of the name of it um it was more of a bag that honestly it, it, it looked to me like a carry-on bag if you're going to go on a um, go on an air, airplane it was a carry-on it, it just looked like a carry on to me and I didn't like it in my current work bag which I have right here I absolutely love it and if I don't get a new one I really really love it because that's why it's been so hard I returned that one that he got for me and I was still on the hunt to get another one but I just didn't see what I really wanted and it might be because my expectations are so high because I love my current work bag and it's actually a book bag and it's oh it's heavy y'all I got a bunch of stuff it's a Kenneth Cole black book bag and it's a fabric type material um, let's see, with gold zippers and trim, and some of the gold is fading off of it, because I mean, I'm unzipping it and zipping it and unzipping it all the time. It's super heavy, it's got a lot of stuff. So it has a wonderful, um, I'm not trying to give a review of this bag, but it's super great. Laptop case, laptop case area, it has an iPad or tablet area, plenty of room for binders, file folders, books, 
big, huge front case um, that I always have my laptop charger. I have my cordless mouse, pins, just randomness, sanitizer, um, all kinds of stuff. It's super big and I really like it. I really, I love this bag. So that's why I haven't found anything because this one is just the bomb. But that is on my wish list if I, if the right one comes into my future. Next thing on my wish list is a new perfume. If you saw my perfume collection right here, y'all, perfume collection, ain't no collection. I've got two perfumes, y'all, or three if you count the case bag one. So basically I have two bottles of perfume and that's it. And I need a new perfume. I want it to smell sweet and citrusy and um, just feminine and a little sexy. I just wanted to smell super, super good. And I don't know which one it is yet. Um, my line sister Toya recommended Lancome's Idol, which I do have a little sample size of, and I really like that one, but I don't know if that's the one one I want. So we'll see what I get. This is my wish list, so you never know. I might not even get a perfume, and I will be using up that Daisy and then the Lancome that I have right there in my closet. Last thing on my wish list, y'all, I want an air fryer. And I probably should have bought myself an air fryer like a year ago because I just want one. I think it will just make my time efficiency just go by even more smoothly in the kitchen. My husband, okay, he comments this like that I make five minute meals. It's really a shady comment, um, but he eats my meals, so he needs to be quiet. But it, it literally doesn't take me five minutes to do the meals, but I'm, I do quick meals because, I mean, I work, I got kids, I mean, it is what it is. I just don't have time. So I want an air fryer. I think that will even speed up the process, um, get my creative juices flowing in the kitchen, you know, we'll see. That, that's just a wish list item. That's something I want. I saw one at Sam's and it was a pretty decent size dish quart size. I can't remember the exact size, size. And I snapped a picture. I was like, I need to go back and get that. And I didn't go back and get it. So whatevs. But anyway, that's my Christmas wish list item. Thanks so much for watching my video, my Christmas wish list, y'all. This is just things I wish for. Um, not things I necessarily have to have because that is not even the reason for the season. I'm happy with celebrating my family and um, just enjoying everything Christmas. So you guys, Thanks so much for watching. If you would please comment below um, what you want for Christmas or your Christmas wish list, I'm interested in knowing and engaging with you all. Um, I hope everyone has a wonderful December and I hope y'all are enjoying all of these videos I'm trying to push out for December. Thank you so much for your support. I really, really, truly appreciate it. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.